Hi friends, welcome back to Loomvian. Today we are going to learn how to make a mega menu in your WordPress website. So let's get started. Head over to your dashboard. Here I am using Astra theme. You can go with any one whichever you prefer. And now we will go to plugins. I already installed the plugin Elementor. Now we need one more plugin with this. Just click on add new. Find Elements Kit Lite. This plugin will help us to make a mega menu. Just click on install now. Activate it. So our plugins are installed and activated now. Next, we will go to Elements Kit. And here, so here I already set up my plugin. You need to set up your plugin. You will see a button here that will say next step, next step. You just press two, three times almost and then last will be finish setup. That's it. You don't need to select anything else. Just once you have finished your setting up your plugin. Now it's time to create our menu. So go to appearance, menus. In my case, I already created a simple menu with these items you can create one if you don't have now for the mega menu we need drop down items so you can choose any of them in my case i will choose services for this i need sub menu items to create this i will use the custom links click here paste your page url where you want to link in my case i will use a hash as a url and name it like something services one add to menu hash services two you can name anything and as services three so i created three items and they are added under here so we will drag and drop just under the services as a sub menu items for services so in services we have three drop downs just save your menu it's all done now we will go back to our website if i refresh my page you will see we have three items under the services so to make it a mega menu we will move to our next step go back to your dashboard Here you need to create a custom header for your WordPress website because mega menu will work with custom header. You need to click on elements kit and here you can see header footer. Just click on that. Click header. Add new. Name it anything like header temp. Condition entire site choose the entire site because you want to show your header on entire site click on activate save changes so you need a template for your header so just click on edit click on edit content it will open up a new window with elementor settings so this is the elementor interface you can work here just like you do in elementor you can make your header completely from scratch or you can easily take a template from elements kit just click it here because we are going to take a template click on category and choose your category so our case is that we are going to use a header just click here so you can use any template from here in my case i am going to use this simple one Click on insert and you can see our header is here. We need a logo for our website. So you can choose from here. You can do it just like in Elementor. Choose a logo. Select. Now I don't want this one. You can customize whatever you want. I don't want this. So I will completely delete social icons. And I will make this column little small.
this is our logo and if you click on this column it will say that element skipped nav menu that means that it selected the right nav menu but if in case it don't select you need to go plus add item and here you will search for nav so you have to use this one nav bar for your header because our mega menu will work with elements kit nav menu as i told you that it work with custom header so delete the old one and here when you select it it will say select menu just select your menu where you created your drop down so our menu is primary select it and publish the changes after publishing the changes after publish you will go to your website and refresh your page as you can see that our custom header is available now and working fine so to get a mega menu we will go back to our dashboard and now we will go to appearance menus and here here you can see that it is saying elements kit mega menu enable this menu for mega menu content so make sure to enable it when you enable it you will see a option here that is saying mega menu so in my case i am making mega menu for my services item so just go to your services and click on mega menu here you have to enable it if it is not enabled you have to enable it then you can change your settings here as well it is saying default full width custom width so i will go with the 900 px yes and then save the changes so if i go back to my content here you see an option edit mega menu content so just click it here because we have to design our mega menu so you can design from scratch or if you need a template just click here so we will go to templates just select your category mega menu and here you can see there's plenty of templates you can choose them and customize it on your own needs i will go with uh, this one yeah just select it insert and here you can see that our mega menu is here it's completely ready and believe me it's completely responsive but you can customize it according to your needs if you want a background color you can change it just like you do in your elementor settings and when you are happy with your setting and customization just make it publish now we will go back to our website if i refresh my page here you won't see a mega menu still here so the problem here is you have to after publishing it you have to close this tab save these settings close it now go back here save menu again and refresh your page here then go to your website if you click here again refresh your page and you will see your mega menu it is working perfectly fine want customize it according to your need and that's it for today's tutorial you have learned how to create a fully functional mega menu in wordpress using elementor and element skit if you found this video helpful don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell for more tips from loomvn thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video